Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Stop it, I love it. A custom-made house of Cobra and Bed Spread worth $250. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Stop it, I love it. A $300 designer telephone. Stop it, I love it. On a $50 gift certificate from Coleman Sports. Oh, just some of the great prizes you can win in WBZ's Stop It, I Love It contest. You can be a winner, too. All you have to do is send a postcard to WBZ's Stop It, I Love It, Boston 02134. Include your name, address, and phone number. When we call your name, you have 10 minutes and 30 seconds to call us back. Then we'll read you a list of prizes. When you say, Stop It, I Love It, you get the next prize on the list. It's that easy. Just more winning fun from WBZ Radio 1030. She loves it. Boss never once, never once do you invite me to your house to listen to the Larry Glick Show. Every Monday through Friday from 10 to 2 on WBZ Radio 1030. And my wife, she is a godmother to your only child. You come to me today, the day of my daughter's wedding. You say, Don Corleone, I want you. If you had come to see me before, if you had just told me that all I had to do was, was call Larry and give him an interesting call, I might have been wearing a Glick University t-shirt this very day. That's Washington's birthday sale anyway. The greatest sale of the year ends tomorrow. This year, Washington's birthday sale has been the best ever. But it's not over yet. Tomorrow is the last day to save on living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, dinettes, Serta mattresses, rockers, recliners, sleep sofas, everything to furnish your home. Use Summerfield's convenient layaway plan or in-store budget plan, even at these low sale prices. Shop either Summerfield store in Boston just off the expressway at the East Berkeley Street exit or in downtown Malden at 454 Main Street. Summerfield's has the best. Summerfield's furniture. Summerfield's has the best. Summerfield's furniture. Um, it's usually um, two words. You know, they say the president's schedule is a busy one, and it is, but not too busy to say goodbye to a friend. So today I've canceled a shopping spree with Nancy to come back to Hollywood to pay my final respects to a great actor. You know, he had a way with him. And he will be sorely missed. His passing has definitely created a void in my life. He was unselfish. And he was always thinking of others. You know, I remember one day after working on a picture in very humid weather. I was tired. He came into my dressing room smiling that smile of his. And then I remember he took a glass of water out of my hand. And without batting an eye, he poured it down my pants. <laughs> he then shoved a banana up my nose. <laughs> we'll all miss you, Bonzo. <laughs> you will always be the chimp. We'll have the weather, lottery number, a couple of calls, and then we'll call Henry Wazilowski. The uh, Massachusetts lottery number is 6112. 6112 for New Hampshire, 2046. 2046. For the forecast for Boston and vicinity, my WBZ meteorologist, Carl Ludwig Cross von Schwegler. For tonight. Partly cloudy and cold with light easterly winds. Lows in the mid-twenties downtown, the upper teens in the suburbs. Friday, clouding up with snow developing during the afternoon. Highs in the low to mid-thirties. Friday night, 
Light snow and cold, lows around 30. Saturday, light snow ending followed by clearing and cool weather. Highs in the mid to upper 30s in Boston. Now it's 27 degrees. At two, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello. Hello, Larry. Hello. 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 Is this Larry? Let me check. Yes, it is. How are you? Let me check. Not bad, thank you. This is Susan from Davis. Susan? Mm-hmm. Hi, Susan. Hi. I have an interesting story to read to you. I'd like to hear. Are you a first-time caller, Susan? Yes. Well, round of applause. Thank you. You're welcome. I work in a Jewish nursing home in Swampscott, and this came in a, a story to one of the patients, and I'd like to read it to you. Read it, Susan. Okay. The following editorial appeared in the Colorado, Colorado Springs Gazette Telegraph. It was written by William Atkins. Mr. Atkins is not a Jew, nor is his paper a Jewish paper. It was Mr. Atkins' comment on the slogans which appeared during the recent flurry of Nazi scrawlings on synagogues and other public buildings. Jews go home, and Americans are nothing new. Never in the past have you ever taken this gentle suggestion to move on. 35 degrees at the airport, downtown at Gateway Center is 39. We're in the 75 percent. We end up in the south east at 12 in Ellsburg. Jack Bowden. A part of the action for fall. And suddenly the day is just a little bit brighter. We need to turn the hour glass over or set your clock because with the tone it will be exactly just in case you missed it. I love to do this. <laughs> the schools in this area are absolutely incredible. I'll tell you what, that is really too bad to deal with in the daytime. Well, actually, it's the middle of the night. Yeah. In Moscow, Russia. G-L-I-C-K. Okay. <laughs> WBZ Boston. That's easy, right? Mm hmm Massachusetts, 02134. 02134. 02134. Okay, thank you. Hey, thank you. Okay, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The greatest fur buys of all time are available to you at the Travelodge 1200 Beacon Street in Brookline, Massachusetts, this Saturday and Sunday. Drazen's Furriers Clearinghouse, top-notch furriers for 75 years, brings you a million and a half dollar fur collection at prices so low, you'll be amazed and delighted. Save 40 to 70 percent below retail and department store prices in fine quality furs in all varieties. New, one-of-a-kind, designer, and pre-owned. A good example. Fabulous natural black glamour coats, store priced over $7,000, Drazen's price $29.95. And in addition to their marvelous sale, Drazen's wishes to buy or trade all the used furs in the Boston area. Their buyer will be available the entire two days with top cash prices paid on the spot. And public retailers and wholesalers are welcome. So come and buy and sell or trade a fur now. This Saturday, 10 to 9, Sunday, 10 to 6, at the Travelodge, 1200 Beacon Street in Brookline, Massachusetts. Okay, we'll take one more call. Oh, 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 we have our guest. Oh, okay. Uh, our guest is Henry J. Wazilowski, and uh, he is the president of South Shore Limousine Service. He was a research chemist till 12 years ago, having 47 patents to his name. He, he went and he got a limousine business. 
Let's say hello to Henry. Hello, Henry. Good evening, Larry. Yakshamaya. Dumpsa, dumpsa. Good, good. Uh, Why did you go from uh, being a research, a research chemist to the limousine service business? Uh, it was just sheer uh, necessity. I uh, was retired early, yes. so to speak. Uh, in other words, I was overpaid. And they could get the younger chemist out of school much uh, more reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I, I get You okay. know, when you get into your 40s and 50s, right. uh, you know, price is very important. That's true, I understand. So, uh, I happen to have a very close friend that was in the undertaking business, and he said, why don't you, since you're driving a caddy, why don't you get a bigger one? So that's what I did, and he trained me, and from uh, the undertaking business, I tried to get into the Oh, now, what, Henry, did you have your, did you buy your, your own, or did you work for him? No, I bought my own. And you worked for him? Uh, well, he, he used me exclusively. Oh, I see, I get it. And then he trained me uh, in all the facets of uh, taking care of people. Isn't it funny that you mention that, Henry, because tomorrow night my guest is Mr. Scott, president of Waterman Funeral Home. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I've never, I've never had, you know, a funeral director on, but, uh, he has a great knowledge of uh, of, uh, of tradition and, and types of burials of all religions and you know, groups. So that's, it should be interesting. That's right. I mean, I've, you know, I've come from the uh, Oriental, the Jewish. Uh, I'll put it in. I let it go. I let it go. Oh, no. Let's take a bite out. Oh, I never knew that. Now, what's the purpose of that? What does that signify? Simple. Uh, I believe it's food for the journey. Oh, yeah. And, uh, they, you know, they burn incense in the car and all that. And, uh, one young man, he had his dad's picture in the, in the windshield looking forward to show dad where he was going. I mean, it was quite, you know, touchy to, to see something like that. And then the, uh, uh, South Americans, they, uh, which we uh, kind of, uh, you know, we're in a hurry, and they have to stay there at the cemetery and cover the entire uh, excavation before they leave. And the family gets, for most of the females, get hysterical, which, you know, is sad again. So, as I say, there is a lot of tradition, and uh, some of it's very beautiful, though. Yes, that's interesting. Now, how did you make the transition from uh, funeral service? Hey, listen, you know what I'd like to do? We have a bad line here, and it's very annoying. It is. Yeah, you hear it too, right? Yes. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a commercial, and then uh, Jack will call you back, okay? All right. Jack, call Henry back so we get a clearer line. That's drive That'll drive people crazy. I think so, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then I'll hang up. Okay, well, all right. Yeah, and then call him back, please. It's 21 minutes before 1 o'clock. 21 before 1. Are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Can I tell you about a place that is super duper? All right. Well, it's a place called Daffodils Restaurant. Daffodils. And when you go up there once, you'll go back again and again and again, even though it's not in Boston. If you live up in the North Shore, it's closer to Daffodils Restaurant. One thing is that the, soup, the, the food is something... Out of the ordinary. I mean, where could you get escargot and lobster bisque whenever you want it? And huge gulf shrimp, and steaks, and seafood, whatever you want, they have the food. And not only is it prepared expertly, if you want to try something good, try that beef wellington. Absolutely delicious, and it's cooked to order. But you want great service. I don't know uh, the training that they have there, but they know what they're doing. They go through a whole training period for all the waiters and waitresses, and they know what they're doing. So if you're ever hungry and you want to take a little ride, uh, would try Daffodil's Restaurant. You'll go back, you'll say, Lorenzo, thank you. Thank you. Tadarava, babakasha. When you go up to Daffodil's Restaurant, you'll eat like you've never eaten before. It's less than an hour from downtown Boston on Route 101 in Bedford, New Hampshire. Bedford, New Hampshire. It's four minutes off Interstate 93. They're on for lunch and dinner, Sundays, you name it. Try Daffodil's 
Daffodils Restaurant in New Hampshire. Okay, let's see if, if Henry's back again. Hello? Yes, I'm back. No, now I can hear you. That sounds a lot better. Oh, sure. Now, to continue on with the uh, undertakers, yes. uh, one of them uh, got do Dr. Martin Luther King Sr. Uh, he, want, he asked if I could book him. So uh, that's how I got to Washington for the inauguration. Well, how did that come about, Henry? I don't understand. Well, uh, I drove, uh, uh, we call him Daddy King up here and in Washington. We drove the uh, doctor around, and he, being in Boston, uh, was very uh, impressed with the Gillette Foamy at the time. You, you know, it just came out, the, uh, the, the shaving lotion. Yes. So we uh, were so new, we had to go to about a dozen drugstores to find it. And after uh, we finally found it, when he left the limo, he left it behind. So I went out of my way and I uh, found where he was and I returned, uh, you know, I said, gee, you worked work so hard to get that from me. But here it is. So uh, about a month later, I got this call from a crank call. Uh, that noise is coming back again. I know. Uh, I, got a crank, uh, I got a call from Washington from the Secret Service. They said, this was on a Friday. They said, would you like to uh, come down a week? Mm-hmm. Where? 